Carrie Pena, and this is Front Doors TV. We are broadcasting from the Center for Positive Media. With me in studio today is Amy Schwabenlender, the Executive Director from the Human Services Campus. Amy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. What you do is a massive undertaking, helping thousands of people in this community. Explain to the audience uh, what your focus is. Our focus at the Human Services Campus may sound not focused because it's 16 organizations all working together to solve homelessness for single adults who come to us from across Maricopa County. Over 12,000 people in a year show up at our doors and we work to connect them with an array of services that helps put them on a, a path to housing. Our focus really is the next permanent affordable home for each person that comes to see us. 12 thousand people a year. 12,000. You are seeing now more first-time homeless and people uh, who were on fixed income. Talk to us about mm -hmm. just so many of the heartbreaking stories you're seeing. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it is hard to answer the phone or an email with someone who's never been in this situation before. They describe you know, their age. If you're a person living with disabilities and you're living on your social security disability income, you can be any age. We have older adults that are living off their social security income. That was their retirement or their spouse's retirement. And they've never been faced with this not knowing what to do. They're facing an eviction or a foreclosure. Or they've been living with family and that time is up for whatever reason. And they reach out to say, I don't know where to start. What do you have to offer? Fortunately, at the Human Services Campus, we can talk about everything from shelter, three meals a day, a health clinic, a dental clinic, job assistance, state benefits. And the list goes on to describe this ability to really meet people where they're at and connect them immediately with the things that will help them stabilize, hopefully feel healthier, at least mentally, that knowing there's people who want to help them. What really strikes me about what you do is you're really looking to remove the barriers to access the access to all of these variety of services, really, because mm -hmm. it's not just one thing. When you right. find yourself in this situation, mm -hmm. it's not just, wow, I need help here. I, I need help here, 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 here. Exactly. And you all are saying, let's, go, as a community, let's come together and solve these problems. Right, exactly. And it really, it, it is solvable because it's, it's less than one half of the percent of the population in Maricopa County that experiences homelessness. That's a solvable number. It's awful and it's terrible for the people that experience it, and it's solvable. If I think if we stop looking at homelessness separate from the housing conversation and prevention, which is some people don't like to have a prevention conversation, it makes them uncomfortable. They don't understand what that means. If we can help people stay housed in the housing they already have, which might be rental assistance, it might be helping to pay utility bills or childcare expenses, that's still more cost effective and more humane than allowing people to lose their housing and experience homelessness. What is it that inspires you the most about the work you do? That transformation and that success and that watching, watching our staff feel like they're part of success and helping someone end their homelessness. Uh, it can be really simple things too, like someone being so joyful when they learn they can get their state ID replaced at our human services campus and they don't have to make multiple trips around the valley and then it gets mailed back to them at the human services campus. Those, those simple things that you know I know I take for granted and now I, I have a continual reminder every single day not to take them for granted. Sometimes though it's that very simple thing we're just seeing that that gives someone hope and it gives them motivation to carry on and to come back the next day and take the next step. Thank you so much for all the work you're doing. Where can people find out more? hsc-az.org. And there's a section there. People can find those 16 partner organizations, go directly to their website. So again, we are supporting all 16 organizations and hope people will find a niche that they want to support and get involved with. Yeah, it takes a community. Absolutely. Amy, thank you very much. Yeah. And thanks to all of you for watching Front Doors TV. I'm Carrie Pena.